Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem sixty-two in chapter twenty-four. Chapter twenty-four is about capacitance, dial electrics, and electric energy storage. Right? There we have two identical capacitor. Mm -hmm. It tell us um, when the connected source of voltage is V naught, it will get the charge called Q naught. So from this uh, sentence, we can calculate the capacitance for the capacitor, right? We think it as C naught. Use the charge Q naught divided by V naught. Now tell us when the voltage sources is disconnected. In this case, it's disconnected. So these are two um, capacitors. Um, can, can in parallel. So now become these two capacitors connected with each other. And one of the capacitor is inserted the dial electric key, right? So we think this uh, capacitor is C2. And we can see C2 is inserted dial electric. So the capacitance for C2 becomes the dial electric constant K times C0, right? And the capacitor 1, C1 keeps constant C0. Do you agree? This is a two capacitors. Ask you the charge now on each capacitors. For this case, we can see the charge is a constant, right? The initially the charge on capacitor one plus capacitor two equals the final charge on capacitor one plus capacitor two. Agree? And then we can see the final charge on capacitor one. We call it. Q1 and the charge on capacitor 2 final we call it Q2, right? And initially the the charge on capacitor C1 and C2 equals Q0, so we can write it as C2 times Q0. Agree? Yes. And then we need to solve this equation to get the Q1 and Q2. So it looks like we can connect the Q with the capacitance there, right? Because it tells us these two capacitors is a parallel connection. So that means the potential difference equals V1 equals to V2, and V1 can be written as Q1 over C1, V2 can be written as Q2 over C2. Now from this function, you can write the quantity Q2 as a function of Q1, right? Mm -hmm. Now you can see the ratio C2 over C1 is just the dial electric constant key. You input C1 and C2 inside, right? Now you can see in this function, you can replace Q2 as key times Q1 and solve this equation. You can get the function for Q1 and Q2, right? Input given quantities K and then you get the answer there. The next one asks you to find the voltages now across each capacitor. So in this one, we know the capacitor C1 and C2 are parallel connection. So they are equals, right? And there you can see the Q1 is given, is we just get it from part A, and Q2 is get it from part A. So for the voltages V1, is use charge Q1 over C1, right? And then you input Q1 and C1 inside, you get the answer there. Thank you.